hi everyone and welcome to my channel if i'm jackie <laughs> not if i'm jackie i am jackie but if you this is your first time on my channel i welcome you i hope you find something that you like something worth watching where you like it share it comment subscribe and if you are a returning viewer you you're the real MVP. And I say it every time, really because I mean it. You don't ever have to come on my channel, but you do. You watch my content, you like, you share, you subscribe. Y'all the best. So, it's been a while since I made a video. And I'm just going to quickly go over why. Mainly because I didn't have the time or energy to do it. I think 2020 has been a year for us that will definitely go down in history books. But, I mean, it was just heavy for me. And if you don't know, you've never been to my channel. I'm a physician assistant, a mom, pageant queen, wife. I'm all kinds of things on top of being a PA. And I'm currently in my last leg of my doctorate's program. And listen, it's just been kicking my butt. And then it was Thanksgiving. And then it was Christmas. And did I mention that I got married in September? Yes. So... All of that, all of that was going on and I needed to find where I fit in to, <laughs> to like get a video up. I've had content in my head and it just hasn't made itself here. So that is the brief explanation. And this video today is going to be about what you should do once you're accepted to PA school. Now, before I go on to that briefly, I wanted to let y'all know something. So about three years ago, maybe it's four, 2016, I started my YouTube channel just to get information out there about becoming a physician assistant because if you are in the medical field, you probably never heard of a physician assistant otherwise, like you need to be in medicine most of the time, the general population still is, are trying to figure this out. Um, but the people who wanted to get into PA school wanted to know what can they do, needed some tips. And I particularly, particularly liked that um, being a black PA, I was able to share the black experience. So I believe my information is generalized, like it is for anybody, but representation matters. You become what you see. So I'm hoping somebody sees me and they're like, oh shoot, I'm about to be a PA like her. Anyhow. Um, so that was the point of this channel. And then I had not been watching my YouTube subscribers because again I hadn't been making videos so uh you know doesn't it doesn't make sense to do that but then I checked and guess what y'all your girl got over a thousand subscribers <laughs> can we do a moment of like celebration and silence no celebration we don't want to be silent yes and that was all because of y'all like I appreciate y'all so much that you are watching my channel. My girls think I'm like super, you know, uh, popular. <laughs> and I'm just excited to have a thousand subscribers. I can't say that that was like my working aim. I thought I would build up some tr um, traction and momentum. But I can say I wasn't really putting much as much time into it because of everything else I had on my plate. But y'all motivated me, y'all. I'm just going to keep talking. I'm going to use my YouTube channel and keep talking to y'all. But... <laughs> Back to the point of this video. So, if you are a pre-PA, an aspiring PA, um, a future PA student, or, you know, you just want to become a physician assistant, and you did everything you were supposed to do, you had your interview, now you're accepted. I see so many questions on different PA forums and PA groups on Facebook where PA students are like, what should I do to prepare now that I've been accepted? And I was like, wow, that's a great question because you work so hard to get to the point where you were even interviewed and accepted. You've taken hard classes, got your GPA up, got your healthcare and patient care experience. So what's the next step? So I, I think it's two things. Number one is ask your school. What does your school recommend you do now that you've been accepted? What should you do in preparation? If they give you a list of things to, to do, do those things. And if you contact the school and they don't have a list for you, this is what I'm going to recommend. Don't do anything. Stop buying books. I see so many people buying books that they don't need, won't ever need. They're trying to pre-study 
to become a physician assistant and if you knew what it was that you needed to study to become a physician assistant, why are you going to school, right? That doesn't make any sense. So don't just be out here buying books you don't need. PA school will take all of your money. If that's what you're waiting for, that's already going to happen. So why are you going to, don't buy stuff you don't need. You don't need a book on medical terminology if it wasn't required. You don't need a book on like pharmacology. Like you just don't need that. What you need to do is like enjoy the time that you have off. Enjoy the time, spend time with your loved ones, your family, your friends, because when you get to PA school, shit's about to get real. All that free time you thought you had, you don't have. So, I mean, like, really, binge watch all the housewives. Get on If you haven't seen everything on Netflix due to the quarantine and stay-at-home orders of 2020, do that. Do what you want to do. Yes, okay, you can, like, financially save some money up, but the average PA student graduates with $100,000 of debt unless they um, are rich and somebody pay for them. So that's also, so I, I mean, if you're not stacking money and enjoying yourself, that's all I think you need to be doing in preparation for PA school. Develop a hobby because you're going to need some type of outlet once you're in. People... I think it's a certain personality type that gets accepted into PA school. We're type A's. I'm A minus B plus though. Like I'm not really like all the way A, but they're type A perfectionists. They want to get everything right. You want to be the best of the best. You need to really just get your mind right. You get your mind right. You'll be great. You just need to like find ways to de-stress because PA school is stressful. You will have class every day. You will have multiple tests in a week. Then you'll have clinical. So you're at the disposal of a preceptor's hours. And yeah, why are you going to add more stress? The stressful part was getting in. Baby, you're in. Enjoy the moment you're in. What I would do is, if I was going back to old me, and now this is 2008, but you know, and I also had kids, but you know, <laughs> but say I ain't having kids and I got accepted to PA school and I got my financial aid approved because I'm all for taking out the student loans and get through PA school. You'll make the money back. Um, I am going to take all the naps I can, do some exercise so I can have a routine developed, stack money for like snacks when I'm stressed, and yeah, well, yeah, I'm going to watch TV and take naps because those don't happen in PA school. But if you got accepted to PA school, congratulations. Um, the new CASPA cycle will be opening up in April of this year. And yeah, I'm going to recommend everybody who gets accepted to PA school watch this video and do what I recommend. <laughs> Again, if your school does not give you set requirements of things that you need to do before you get in or books you need to read, don't stress it. Read for pleasure. Because that also disappears during PA school. So I would love for you to, like if you just got accepted or you've been accepted or you already are PA and you're watching this, when you got accepted, what did you do? And do you recommend studying? I don't know what you're studying. That's the thing. Like I know my eyes are doing this, but what are you studying? So comment below. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And Yes, you can find out more information about me in the description of this video below. Bye, y'all.